My name is Jim Ryan. I'm the Dean of the Harvard Graduate School of Education and I'm here on Appian Way in Cambridge asking people who their favorite teacher is and why. One of the things I've noticed is that teachers often don't get the credit that they deserve, but the irony is that everybody has a favorite teacher. Who is your favorite teacher of all time and why? Um, I have to choose one, right? <laughs> oh, that's an easy, that's an easy question. Uh, my favorite teacher of all time is Michael Punzak. He's my fifth grade teacher. My favorite teacher of all time is my kindergarten teacher. My eighth grade social studies teacher, Mr. Burke. Uh, this guy wrote this book, Five Miles. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, not, uh, you're great, but no, my favorite teacher is... Um, Let's stop there. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to have to double up if that's okay. I'm going to have to say my mom and my dad. My Uncle Johnny is my favorite teacher because he taught me about resilience and overcoming failure. I mean, out, he was not a teacher that you had in school. That's right. I right. think lots of teachers matter. Teachers in school, outside of school, communities, families. Yeah. yeah, I agree. It reflected how passionate he was about the subject and how much he cared about my learning. Cultivating that like personal connection with the students and really finding what fits their interests the best. He was fun. He, was, he, made, he made learning fun. Eric. My parents couldn't figure out how to turn the light on, and no other teacher I had could, and he was the one. Grateful to him to this day. She was my second grade teacher, and she made me want to be a second grade teacher, which is what I do today. No and kidding. I was never good in choir, but she made me feel like I was a great student. I was in a Spanish immersion program in kindergarten, um, and I didn't know any Spanish when I started, and so she pantomimed to me. So he would walk you through the process in a way that engaged you? Yeah, and made me feel like a scientist rather than a fish out of water. So did she take a particular interest in you? Uh, I would say so. She also lived like two blocks down the street from me, so I mean, she was interested in like... Did that make you nervous? I knew I had to do what I, what I was supposed to in class, for sure. So if you could tell her one thing, what would you tell her? I would say thank you, Mrs. Schmidt. You're the best teacher ever, and you gave me my calling in life. If you had a chance to tell him something, what would you tell him? Uh, thank you. Um, like, I, in many ways, uh, so this is where I get emotional, sorry. Um, in many ways, uh, he, he saved my life um, in terms of uh, figuring out how to live in this world and how to be engaged in a meaningful way. So, yeah, thank you. She always talked about the fact that if you can just wake up and smile. If you are honored and blessed enough to be able to wake up, like that is a reason enough to give you to smile. And so that is something that has carried me through some of my hardest times as well. And do you wake up and smile? I, I try to, if I look good. <laughs> Hi, can you tell me your name? Emma. Emma, and how old are you? Six. And what grade are you in? First grade. And do you have a favorite teacher? Yes. Who is your favorite teacher? Miss Minky. Miss Sminky? Uh huh. And why is Miss Sminky your favorite teacher? Well, because she teaches really good and she knows a lot of math and she teaches us a lot of math. And then we have don't and we have a we have a lot of homework, but not all the time. So she sounds like she's pretty fun too. Yeah, she is really fun. Thank you. Oh good. Thank you very much. Nice to talk to you. Thank you. So that's a wrap here on Appian Way. I look forward to continuing the conversation throughout the rest of this year, wherever I go. I'm going to ask people who their favorite teacher was and why, because I think it's time that we celebrate teachers.